as a doctor, I and all of you are about to witness one of the most devastating injuries that Logan Paul suffers from in a face up just a few days prior to the actual boxing match. By the way, my name is Dr. Mo. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and write in the comment section who you are supporting in this boxing event. It will help the video get pushed. And let's watch the clip together. I'm just going to repeat what happened again because this is absolute insanity. And then Dylan Dennis throws the mic. Now it looked like Everyone obviously jumped, to, so it looked like it was something very normal uh, that happened, and it wasn't like, oh, he throws something again on the way out, uh, and nothing really uh, serious occurred, but actually, Logan Paul had a big cut uh, in his face, which was uh, bleeding, and he actually needed to wear a mask on all of the following uh, meetups after this face off and this is the mask that logan paul uh was wearing obviously was with his uh brand and the necklace a walking advertisement but i thought this was pretty insane so in this video i'm going to also show you other clips from other face offs uh and more <laughs> insane things that occurred However, there's something that's really important that I need to uh, address too, and that is the risk of injury, in particular to the brain uh, of these participants in the boxing matches, and as well as the adverse effect of uh, injury and trauma from boxing on the psychology on not only these YouTube and professional boxers, but uh, on uh, people in the boxing world in general. So here's the first article, and it's about head injury and risk of Parkinson's disease. A somatic review and meta-analysis. Uh, just to be clear, the reason I brought this article up first is because most of you are probably familiar with the arguably the greatest boxer of all time and that is um, Muhammad Ali Clay and while he did suffer from Parkinson's disease uh, from an earlier age also the concussion and trauma from uh, and getting hit in the head like from boxing also participate to make that uh, worse and in this study, uh, they were inv investigating the association between head trauma and the risk of developing PD, which is Parkinson's disease. And so I read these articles, so I'm just giving you guys sort of like the cream of the crop. So the results of uh, our meta-analysis indicate that a history of head trauma that results in concussion is associated with a higher risk of developing PD. Uh, this is from the Movements or uh, Society. And there's also multiple studies showing similar results, but normally meta-analysis are pretty solid uh, reference to, to use. So there was another uh, face-off that I found on the X platform, and this was and this was also insane. So somebody commented on this that um, how is Dylan hitting all these accurate shots to Logan Paul and KSI? So they're talking about the face-offs. Ho hopefully he does also uh, hit his target in the boxing match itself. So here he was having a face-off with KSI. And they start with having both of them uh, and they face off and everyone's smiling, like sort of they're like trolling or something. And then Dylan, I don't know what he even pulls out and just throws it at him out of nowhere. I'm going to play this video. I Does he punch him at the beginning? We're going to play it. 
<laughs> this is actually insane. I don't even know why are they having a face off. Okay, so <laughs> can we slow this down? Okay, so if if you look closely, did he uh, throw a left punch? Look look at what's happening here. Just one second. I think he throws a left punch or here in this instance. Oh my god, maybe he pushes him and then he throws something like a bag of of popcorn or corn or something. So there there will be more videos like this uh, in this video. So watch this to the end. It, it gets even more insane. And everyone's trying to hold him back. Okay, so then I have another uh, study from the Journal of Neurosurgery. This is a very highly regarded and reputable uh, uh, journal for reference. And I found this uh, study which was about the association of traumatic brain injury with subsequent neuro neurological and psychiatric disease and it, it's a meta-analysis tool and they were looking at uh, the mild traumatic brain injury uh, as uh, a risk factor for the development of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, depression and other illnesses. Um, so the study's objective was to determine the association of prior mild TBI is the uh, shortcut for mild traumatic brain injury here, or rather traumatic brain injury. With the subsequent uh, diagnosis, that is at least one year post-injury of neurological and psychiatric disease. So this is how they, uh, they did the study. And with regard to the results, so prior uh, TBI was independently associated with both neurological and psychiatric outcomes. So the analysis of individual diagnosis revealed higher odds of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, mild cognitive impairment, depression, mixed affective disorders, and bipolar disorder in individuals with previous TBI as compared to those without uh, TBI. And was So the analysis of a, a subset of studies demonstrated no evidence that multiple TBIs uh, were associated with higher odds of disease compared with a single uh, traumatic uh, brain injury. So at the conclusion, uh, the history of having a traumatic brain injury, including a mild uh, traumatic brain injury, is associated with the development of neurological uh, and psychiatric illnesses. So this finding indicates that either TBI is a risk factor for heterogeneous pathological processes or that TBI may contribute to a common pathological mechanism. So here's another clip. Now, I don't understand why for the face-offs, here we have Tommy Fury and KSI, but why did they throw them into like like a random cage and, and they were like having a barrier of, I don't even know what is that, if it's like some class or flexible material and they were just standing there and yelling at, it, at each other so everyone is just like yelling on on the top of his lungs guess i is yelling tom fury is uh yelling right in the comment section who do you think would actually win between uh ksi and uh tom fury i personally think uh, tommy should not underestimate uh ksi uh, he has honestly a solid record when it comes to boxing. Now, you can argue whether if it's versus YouTubers or whatever, but also Tommy Fury is a professional boxer. So, I'm honestly, I'm rooting for uh, uh, Tommy Fury. What about you? So, let's watch this clip together. <laughs> 
Oh, your piece of Titanic. <laughs> I need to mute these things. And they're just yelling. And at some point, I think they start to. Yeah, so they, they just start pushing the, the, the barrier. <laughs> I'm not sure what's the purpose of this. Why not just have a regular uh, face off and they're just going ham at, at each other? I think they're both great uh, uh, promoters. I don't think they would compete when it comes to promotion with uh, John Fury. This guy always uh, takes the show. <laughs> I don't know what even they're saying. They're just yelling at each other and kicking the glass. So write your predictions uh, for tonight's fight. And then I brought another uh, article. This one is, I think, in the Journal of International uh, Neuropsychological uh, Society. Um, so it's about the neuropsychological performance following a history of multiple self-reported concussions and meta-analysis. Now, why concussions in particular? Concussions and cuts. Oops. Sorry. So uh, this is Siri just playing. Uh, so the concussions is actually one of the most uh, common injuries that the boxers uh, uh, suffer from actually and also laceration and cuts uh, so with regard to this study I put it here because this is the abstract so abstracts just for the general audience like a basic uh, summary of uh, the study meaning what they did and how they did the uh, study and the final results so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just having a quick like overall effect of all them. Yeah, so I found this study quite interesting because they looked at uh, the traumatic brain injuries, but in uh, terms of if, if that person had multiple uh, traumatic brain injury, like I guess, versus just one. Uh, so that's why when you read in the sort of like conclusion, then they show you the overall effect of multiple uh, traumatic brain injury on neuropsychological functioning was minimal and not significant. However, follow-up analysis revealed that multiple self-reported uh, MTBI was associated with poorer performance uh, on measures of delayed memory and uh, executive functioning. So... And in this study, the implications and limitations are, are discussed. So here it just further uh, gives more information as to multiple traumatic uh, brain injuries versus a single. Um, why is this important? Because even if a professional boxer, let's say, or someone who does sparring on a regular, regular basis, uh, they had a a traumatic brain injury but they had it like once let's say that can have that serious effect on uh, their health and well-being so we're back to <laughs> twitter uh, and i think in this clip so this is like dylan dennis after uh the the face off where he throws uh the mic and logan paul gets uh injured so and I think here he speaks with John Fury, which is like, this guy is insane when it comes to promoting the fight. He... I cut his eye, he says, he's like, good. <laughs> his... I think it tells him good job or something. In the face with the, I cut his eye, then it's like, best stuff, like, well done. And he's laughing. He went to the hospital and this guy's like, great. He's just like, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> This was on the uh, literal Dylan Dennis uh, Twitter, by the way. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and on all social media at Dr. Mo Dentist. I do tweet uh, there. It's quite different content from YouTube itself, so you don't get... So this is the last study we're going to look at. <laughs> and it's a systematic review of uh, potential long-term effects of sport-related concussion. 
Uh, and, and so in this study, they're looking at the possible long-term sequelae defined. Long-term here is defined as to equal to or more than 10 years after uh, suffering from the injury. And the results are, so they re reviewed 3,819 studies where 47 of the metric criteria. So first of all, they take a larger uh, size of uh, studies and then they have an inclusion and an exclusion uh, criteria. So they narrow it down to a much smaller uh, number of studies that are actually going to uh, review in uh, detail. So some former athletes have depression and cognitive uh, defects later in life, and there is an, as an association between these defects, deficits, sorry, and multiple prior concussions. So in, co in conclusion, uh, multiple con concussions appear to be a risk factor for cognitive impairment and mental health problems. So that's it for today. If you like this format uh, of videos, make sure to uh, subscribe and comment uh, down below who, are, who you are rooting for. And thank you for watching. Bye.